Hey guys, welcome to my vlog of the 2022 Horse World Expo with Cricket. Uh, this is day one. It's actually pretty late in the day, Thursday evening. I got in Thursday afternoon um, and I took Cricket out into the outdoor to settle in and he was a little bit nutty. So I decided to bring him back into the indoor and school him a second time later. Um, he was really good in the indoor and so I just cantered him around a little bit just to get his legs moving. And then I walk him back over into the main barn. Uh, once I untack him, I'm going to bring him back over to the wash stall and give him a little bath. So Cricket was really good for his bath. He was pretty disgusting, so it took a while. Uh, we made friends with this other horse in the wash stall, and then I went back home and went to bed. Okay, I have checked in at my hotel room. It's really nice. Uh, and I just realized I went to the front desk and checked in with a giant piece of ketchup on my face. I thought it was blood at first, so I'm sure he thought I was either hardcore, but um, nope, I was just really hungry and smashed a quarter pounder into my face for a snack. Good Friday morning. It's super cold. I'm leaving my hotel right now. I couldn't sleep, so I'm running ahead of schedule. Let's go get crazy. So I decided to braid Cricket because he was doing a dressage demo and I just wanted to put him as close to what he would look like at a show as possible. Uh, so I sewed in some braids really quickly. Um, and then because I didn't really want to take him out into the outdoor, the footing was really bad. I just walked him around a little bit before our demo and he went in and he was such a good boy. Um, after our demo, he went and spent some time in the petting stall and you can see Cricket loves to stick his head out and interact with the public in here. And I'm pretty sure it's because I pay him handsomely to talk to people. Then we walk back and you can see Cricket's walking a lot slower now and he's acting a lot more like himself. He's feeling very settled in, very comfortable here. Then back in the stall, Cricket's still getting some snacks because he's super hungry and a very good boy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here you go. You can out flat. So after we were all done with everything for the night, I decided to teach some of the other horses in our group how to smile. So you can see this is Ducky here with his owner showing off his new skill. Look at that smile. What a good boy. So Ducky learned how to smile, as did Dream, who is Tomcat's sister. Um, and they were both so good and so happy. Good morning. It's just before 7 a.m. I'm still in my hotel room. I'm trying so hard not to get over to the barn too early today because I really have nothing to do pretty much all day. So Saturday morning, we all decided to take our horses out for a little hand walking in the outdoor. You can see Cricket does not think this was a good idea. Cricket thinks we should be inside napping. He did not want to walk. He did not want to stretch his legs. So he's just standing there looking all silly in his little sleazy. What a good boy. So after our walk, Cricket goes into the petting stall and starts meeting his fans again. Cricket's so good in the petting stall, partly because I give him a treat pretty much every time he lets a stranger touch him. But for a horse that's really antisocial at home, he hangs his head out the whole time and lets everyone touch him and rub him on his face. And he's really a good boy in there. He especially seems to love the children, but you can start to see that he's begging for a cookie because he's let someone else touch him. After he came back from his time in the petting stall, Cricket decided to take a quick little snooze. I've actually only ever seen him lay down like two or three times in the entire time I've owned him. And he took two laying down naps right in front of me on this day. So I think it's safe to say he was feeling pretty tired. Later in the day on Saturday is a special treat. My sister actually came in to help. I don't know what she was really doing. She's not a horse person, but she came to watch. I will be doing the horse riding today. <laughs> and I know how. <laughs> so it's good to see her. She asked me every single time we walked by dirt or poop if it was horse poop. No. Is this horse poop? Yes. <laughs> so here's our demo on Saturday night. Oh, wait. 
is that called? That's calling. It was a really beautiful, <laughs> big crowd. Um, unfortunately, the horses were not feeling their best on this day. Uh, Cricket was giving a lead to Sox because Sox was a little bit nervous to be in there. Cricket was doing so well until at the end he got a little nervous. So he doesn't really care for the applause, but the horses were all just feeling a little bit nutty and I don't know, electric in front of the big crowd, but it was still a good demo. So here's Cricket's ride. You can see he's really tense. I was actually a little worried when I went to ask for the canner transition, whether he would canner or buck. Um, and very fortunately, he held it together and did a very tense canner for me. It is a big, beautiful arena with a lot going on in there. And so I was really happy with him for holding it together as well as he did. But you'll see in just a second when everyone claps for him. Uh, he really didn't like it. Yay! My favorite horse. It's my favorite horse again. So this was pretty much the wrap on Saturday night. After this, we went back to our hotel and I tried to sleep in. Sunday morning was pretty quick. I did another demo with Cricket. He was probably his best in that demo. And then as soon as we finished that, I popped him onto the trailer and we drove back home. And this is Cricket celebrating his happy return back to his mud in Connecticut. He hated being all clean for the show and now he's getting himself all dirty again. So that was our trip to the Horse World Expo in Pennsylvania. Cricket and I are both exhausted and happy to be home, but it was such a fun experience and we always love going out to show what this breed can do. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe.